Oh my goodness, the entire Canva community has been in a kerfuffle about sharing template links. So uh, I'm going to clear up some confusion about erroneous information that people are sharing. Basically, you know, they're not giving you accurate information. So I've been creating Canva templates for probably six, seven years, and it's, it can be a big part of a business model for a lot of people. So let's talk about what Canva said, and then we're going to talk about I'm sorry, what Canva meant. Okay, so here's what came out. They sent out an email that said Canva changes to Canva template links, and they said starting June 2nd, it's going to be a premium feature. Now, creating, creating pro links... Creating template links has been a pro feature for a while. So you can't create template links if you're not on a paid plan. And that's, that happened in January. It happened last year, but they really enforced it in January. So you can't create a template link unless you're on a paid plan. Okay. So that's not new. What is new? Okay is that if you have the same email address in your domain, you can't share a template link. Meaning if, if, somebody sent a, if somebody's Canva email address is jstone.com, and then I also have a jstone.com link, I can't send them a template link because we share the same domain. Instead, you have to be on a paid plan to open and edit if you share the same domain. Now, what this means is for all, remember Canva was going to go up on the price for teams and people was like, the way that the people were working around that is, well, I take everybody off the team's account and give them individual free accounts and send them the link. That's what was happening. So the workaround is like, if y'all got the same domain name in y'all's email address, you're basically trying to work around us getting that extra money out of you. So we're going to stop the ability to share when the domain name is the same in the email address. Okay. What people thought, and this part is not true. This part is not true. What people thought is that anybody, nobody, if you ain't got a paid account, you can't edit a template. That is not true. Okay. And let me tell you why that doesn't make sense. And then I'm going to actually prove to you that it is not true. So let's just say that you sell templates on, say, Etsy, okay? So sometimes on Etsy, you'll see people that have a, a template and it is a dollar. It is $5. It is $3, okay? And then people would then have to pay $15 to have a Pro Canva account just to open it. So you pay your $5 plus the $15, you are paying $20, and you only need the one template. So they people think this is not true. I'm going to say this again. People think that that meant that you can't open it. That's not what's true. That's not what I read. But because I had um, said to a few people, I don't think that that's accurate, I'm going to wait for confirmation. Well, so someone sent an email, someone that I know sent an email over to Canva to get clarity. And here's what Canva said when they came back. So shout out to Marvette for sending this over. And here's what it says right here, okay? It says, to clarify, free users can open and use a shared Canva template created by a pro user. So you can. So it doesn't matter if you are a pro user, it doesn't matter if the buyer or the receiver of the template has a free or paid account, they can use the template. Here is the caveat. However, if the template includes any pro elements like premium photos, graphics, or fonts, they'll be prompted to upgrade to Canva Pro or pay for individual access. What does that mean? Okay. So that means if you designed your template, okay, I'm just going to open a template. If you designed your template and your photos are Canva photos, they'll get the prompt to upgrade to Pro to use your photos, okay? If you have icons like this, right? Graphics like this. And these came out of the Canva Elements library, they will be prompted to update, okay? If you're using fonts and they are Canva fonts, okay? 
you will be prompted, uh, the user will be prompted to upgrade to use any of the elements that you 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 built with. So, uh, what's the workaround? The workaround is that you can uh, upload your own fonts. Like you can go out buy them with a commercial license and upload your own. Okay. Same thing with the elements. You can go someplace, <clears throat> and I'll put some links to where you can buy. Uh, these elements and icons. You can go buy elements and icons. You can buy the font. You can buy stock photos, okay? Or you can generate stock photos. You can generate elements or you can um, <clears throat> use free fonts, elements, and photos that have a extended commercial license, okay? But to keep from being aggravated with whether it has a commercial license or not, looking it up, do I have commercial license? But just buy it or generate it yourself. Just buy it or generate it yourself. You're going to make money off of the template, okay? So invest in it. It's a one-time purchase. You'll be using it on multiple items, right? You'll be using it in multiple designs. So go ahead and purchase the thing, okay? So that's it for me, but one last reiteration. You can, okay, you can um, open template links on a free account, okay? So if you're creating the template links, you got to have a pro plan to create the template links. If you're creating the template links, the end user can have a free or paid account and still open and edit templates. All right, so that's it. Talk to you on the flip side. Thanks.